you guys, it's Bella Nicole here again today and I have another story time for you guys. Let's get right into it. Basically, I want to tell you guys a story about a time that I almost died in the Atlantic Ocean. So basically what it was, was that I was on vacation with my family. It was a summer trip, you know, duh. I went to Destin, Florida. No, I'm just kidding. I went to Daytona, Florida, and also like Kissimmee, Orlando area to go to Disney World on um, some of the days. So while we're in Destin, we spent a lot of time. I keep saying Destin. While we're in Daytona, we spent a lot of time um, basically at the beach and you know going to little beach stores and you know doing that whole little experience. But while we were on the beach, I was just so excited because this was my first time going to like a really, really, really real beach with like beautiful water and you know ton of people, all these rental ATVs and all that good stuff. You know, it was like a legit beach that you would see on TV. So, I went there and I was so excited and basically I just could jump straight in the water. You should not swim in the ocean. Swimming in the ocean is bad for you. Swim in swimming pools where humans belong, which we shouldn't even be doing that. Like, we're meant to walk on land. But anyways, so I was at the beach and I jumped straight into the water because I was so excited. I spent like three hours in the water. I had never gotten so dark in my life. Um, and my mom was just maxing and relaxing. And then um, basically, one second. Hello? You are? Okay, I'm going to come. Okay, um, can I meet you somewhere in like five minutes? I'll call you and find out where you are. Bye. I finally have plans. So anyways, where was I? So I went straight in the water and I think my brother was the one that kind of went far out because he was like the little daredevil. He was like digging holes all day and all kind of stuff so then he went in the water. And he was like on like this sand dune kind of thing. Like it was like three feet deep and then you go out further and further and further about 20 feet I want to say I don't know and then there'd be like this sandbar that you could stand on and then it turns into like one foot of water so I went all the way out there because it looked fun just standing up and it seemed like you were like in the middle of the ocean just standing there so I went out there and I was standing there just like and I didn't have my glasses on like now and I have astigmatism so that makes everything blurry and I just didn't want to lose my glasses in the ocean while I was on vacation and I didn't wear contacts at the time so it was not like I could just go back to the hotel room and put on contacts or to what okay we weren't in a hotel but anyway so Basically, I didn't have a way of vision, you know, seeing without my glasses. So I just took them off to be safe, and so everything was very blurry. So I went into the ocean, like blind, basically. And yeah, so I was enjoying my life. Like, look at me, I'm in the ocean, walking on water, because I'm just that amazing. And so I feel something brush against my leg. When I tell you I've never been so scared in my life, like I don't like insects, I don't like bugs, I don't like animals that I don't know what they are, I don't like fish touching me. I was praying it was seaweed. <sighs> it wasn't seaweed. I looked down and like I could see what's below me and like what's about five feet in front of me. Okay, no, I can see everything around me but I can't read things. Everything's blurred. Anyway, so I could tell what was below me in the water. And when I tell you I've never been so scared in my life, let me tell you what was below me. Below me was a swarm of stingrays. Wild stingrays, the ones that killed Steve Irwin, those. They were about this big, so they weren't very large, but the little tail things were really long, and that's what scared me. You know you have the fight or flight response, and I was in their environment. I was in their home, the ocean. They know how to fight in the ocean. I don't. I barely knew how to swim at the time. I was, what, 12 years old? <laughs> and I don't know I was scared I was in the ocean I couldn't see there was large stingray swarming me it was about five or six of them and they were touching my legs so I knew they weren't scared of me I knew they was ready to fight they was ready to box up so I had to think I could stand here and act like I'm a statue and they won't know you know she's food and or I can you know run but here's the twist I was gonna run because it was not too too terribly deep like it was up to like right here on me in the water once I got off the sand dunes so I was like I can you know run out of here real quick but they can swim faster because they're in their environment so and they're more hydrodynamic and all kind of crap so 
in my mind, I was sitting here standing like a statue, not wanting to scream, not wanting to do anything. I was like this for about 30 seconds, contemplating my next move. But then I realized my sister is out here with me. She was about, I want to say she might have been like eight years old at the time. And we basically went in the water when our mom told us not to. So she was probably like relaxing, thinking we were building little sand castles. Meanwhile, we're really just getting ate up by the Loch Ness Monsters. <sighs> so... I had to think and I was like, Zoe, we're about to run. Don't look down because I knew she looked down, she'd freak out. So I said, Don't look down. Can you hold on? Where's my phone? Hello? Hannah, come on now, I'm coming. I'm serious, where y'all at? Are you at my door? Oh! So I was like, girl, we need to run. And she was like, why? I like the water in me. me. She falls down. She basically drowned. And I pick her up. I said, let's go. Let's go. Because they've been circling us for about 30 seconds. That's a long time when you're scared. And I just said, let's go. I drugged that girl so fast. I got out the water. And like, they come in really shallow water. Like, the water might have been this high. And they were still like gliding in the water. I was like, oh my God. We just escaped death. Like, we really just escaped death. So. Basically my message is don't go in the ocean, don't go in big bodies of water, it's really scary, don't get your hair wet because it's stupid, you don't have to get your hair redone anyway. So there's just a lot of cons to going and playing in the ocean where you don't belong. But I thought that was a really funny story and I have a lot of like life threatening stories so like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys, you know, let me know if you like it, leave feedback, that's it.